Well, here we are again, walking into Randy Land over here on Pacific Avenue. That's Main Street here in Wildwood. Let me shut the door and lock us in. Now you're trapped. <laughs> well, I gotta turn the lights on. Now, how do you turn the lights on at a place like this? Well, you know, typically everything is on circuit breakers. So you go over to the circuit breaker boxes and you turn on the circuit breakers. They're just like light switches and pretty much all commercial buildings, they turn their lights on that way. You go back there, you turn on the circuit breakers, you turn them on, you turn them off, and there's usually areas or they're marked, you know which ones are the lights. But the circuit breaker boxes are way in the back. You know, I, so now you gotta constantly walk around in the dark and, and, and maybe trip on stuff and you carry your, your handy dandy little flashlight, you know, hoo hoo ha ha ha. And you got, you know, this, is, this is life. If you don't have your flashlight or your batteries are dead, you're gonna trip and break things. So you make a light switch. There you can turn your lights on at the door. And here is a Randy light controller for this area. Now, what, well, it looks like it's, uh, you know, what is that? I don't know, I've never seen a light controller like that because it's a Randy design, you see? And I have actually 12 controlled circuits here. Now, each circuit might control more than one line because it is electronically controlled. So the breakers are always on and it goes through contacting circuitry, which will then turn on the lights to whatever patterns I wanted it to feed to my lights. So this is number one through four, five through, through eight, and of course nine through 12. And then you have on and you have off, so I didn't have to have an extra one. So it's push button control. So if I push number eight, nothing happened. How come? because it doesn't know what I want number eight to do. So I hold on the on switch and push on eight. Did I get any lights? Look, I got some lights, you see? Now, if I push eight again, nothing will happen, but if I push off and I push eight, off go the lights for series number eight. Now, why in the world would you do it that way? Because this is a low voltage control. All right? I didn't have to run all the heavy electric over to a light switch control in order to do this. It's, it's very, very multi-conductor cable that's sending its signals in order to the contacting system that's controlling my lights. So I hold the on button and I press on whatever lights I want to press on, you know, or I hold off and I press off what I want to do and on they go and off they go. Now. Not just that it is low voltage. Oh, look, I got a razor blade up here. See, now if I, I know where to look when I want to open my boxes. I was struggling before, struggling. I opened up and there was a razor blade right here. It's seen better days. Now that might give you tetanus. All right, I also have a drill bit. Look at that. Nice one. And it's even got the flathead on the other side. You don't see them too many often anymore. So I must have had a need for it there. So this is obviously an alarm panel. This is obviously my telephone system, but this is the light control system. So what if I came in a different door? Wouldn't that be odd? Well, I have another one over there. You see? And because I built the system like this, I can have as many of these control stations as I want because all I'm doing is I'm sending a signal and a command to the controller that is actually doing the switching of the power for the lighting. So if I can control it here, I can control it someplace else. And I don't have to have inter wires going back and forth like in a hallway where you have you know three-way switches and four-way switches where you can turn the light switch on, turn it in the middle, turn it over there, and it's gonna turn. That's complicated. You gotta have heavy conduit wire going between all the switches so it's going to switch it between all the switches to make it work. This can send the signal as can any other station send the signal to my light controls. So this is a Randy innovation and I built this when I 
came here and I had it put in as far as the, uh, the contactors so everything's controlled just right with the power switching and I can control my lights and I can also control them remotely which sometimes you see me doing an episode and I'll wave my hand and the lights will come on because the control system can pick up on the remote controls just as well working through the same system in order to run it and then with the remote control if I wanted to do different patterns like this is group number one this is group number four. Maybe group one and four are different on the setup because it's not doing just one contactor, it's doing several in order to do the area of lights that they want. So in this particular situation, is it there? Did it get rubbed off? Here it is, it's kind of lightened up. Can you see it? This is a floor plan of downstairs Woolworths. This is the walking pattern for my guided tour, which goes all the way around and it shows you where the light numbers would be. Now I push number eight because we're standing right here. So obviously seven would be in this area. Then we have six, five, they're kind of going in order of the series, going all the way around to 12, and it's turning on the lights in the area according to the sequence. Nothing is simple. You see, you take things for granted, you walk in, you turn on the lights, flip, it isn't that easy because my life isn't easy. Everything is complicated. Everything's got to be some kind of special control system because I'm a control system designer. That's what I do. I'm a specialist in this. So this is child's play for me. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. And we're going to leave it there for the next visit to Randyland. Bye, guys.